I accept and understand the scientific method. If you don't, then I cannot use science to convince you that evolution happens. I accept the rules of logic. If you do not, then no logical argument is going to persuade you that a benevolent and all-loving deity is inconsistent with suffering or damnation. I trust that the rules of math are constant. If you don't, then you can rationalize a day equaling a thousand years, and that two of every animal known to mankind could survive a 40-day trip in a boat made of wood during a storm with only a handful of humans to care for them. I'm comfortable with the fact that there are certain unknowns and that new things are being learned every day in such fields as geology, physics, cosmology, molecular biology, and neurology. If you're not comfortable with that, then I can't explain to you why shifting the goalposts and filling new gaps with God seems desperate to me. Because I accept these things, I understand why I cannot rely on the scientific method or logic or math to convince you to reject the Bible or the Quran or the Bhagavad Gita or any other religious text as I have. But can you at least understand that for the same reason you cannot use the teachings of your religious text to convince me to accept your religious text? Once more with feeling. I accept and understand the scientific method. If you don't... If you don't, then I cannot use science. Then I cannot use science to make you understand that evolution happens. That evolution happens. I accept the rules of logic. If you do not... If you do not, then no logical argument is going to persuade you... Then no logical argument is going to persuade you that a benevolent and all-loving deity is inconsistent that a benevolent and all-loving deity is inconsistent with suffering or damnation. I trust that the rules of math are constant. If you don't... If you don't, then you can rationalize a day equaling a thousand years. Then you can rationalize a day equaling a thousand years. And that two of every animal known to mankind could survive a 40-day trip in a boat made of wood during a storm. On a boat made of wood during a storm with only a handful of humans. During a storm with only a handful of humans to care for them. I am comfortable. I am comfortable with the fact that there are certain unknowns and that new things are being learned every day. New things are being learned every day in such fields as geology, physics, cosmology, molecular biology, and neurology. If you're not comfortable with that, then I can't explain to you why shifting the goalposts why shifting the goalposts and filling new gaps with God seems desperate to me. It seems desperate to me because I accept these things. I understand. I understand why I cannot rely on the scientific method, or logic, or math, or logic, or math, to convince you to reject the Bible. To reject the Bible, or the Quran, or the Bhagavad Gita, or any other religious text, as I have. But can you at least understand that for the very same reason? That for the same reason you cannot use the teachings of your religious text to convince me to accept your religious text? Hmm? But can you at least understand that for the same reason? But can you at least understand that for the same reason? For the same reason. You cannot use the teachings of your religious text to convince me to accept your religious text. The teachings of your religious text to convince me to accept your religious text? Because that would be circular. And we don't do that kind of reasoning.